Yes, I finally, finally made it to Center Stasius, aka Stasia, and thus finally completed my six islands in the Dutch Caribbean. Now, for a Dutch Caribbean island girl myself, born and raised, it is shameful, just shameful that it took me so long to visit Center Stasius. But here I am, and I am ready to explore. It's about, uh, let me see, I got here at 7.30, so I've been up very, very early. I had to wake up at 5 and be at the airport at 6. So I was a little tired and had to take a nap in this wonderful bed here at this locally owned bed and breakfast. Very comfortable. And now I am ready because it's about lunchtime. So I think it's only fit to have a grand first Stacia lunch. So let's see what that's all about. You guys get to come with me. I am so ready to explore Stacia. Let's go. This is where I'm having lunch today. It's called the Barrel House. And the good thing is I heard that the chef is an actual personal friend. So I'm gonna see if he's working right now. slash bakery slash sandwich shop slash winery these are all products that we sell in the store uh, made specially for the barrel house we have different kinds of oils and spices italian risotto this is uh right uh, temperature control. My name is Siebold. Together with uh, Marlies, my wife and our team, we run uh, the old gin house hotel, the barrel house, which we are in now with some lovely bottles of wine. And we operate and own the Quill Gardens estate. Uh, that's eight suites um, and an Indonesian styled restaurant, uh, which is funny enough, pretty hard to get into. <laughs> uh, the Old House has a steakhouse restaurant where uh, Chef Ivan and Anton uh, grill amazing steaks. And here at the Barrel House on our oceanfront terrace, um, we serve you lunch. Uh, all of this happens on Stacia. Come and check us out.
Well, when we arrived um, in 2015, um, there was one restaurant, uh, the Gin House, and we had Frankie's and the Blue Bead and maybe one or two others. And since that time, uh, well, a lot has happened on uh, Stacia. We now have, well, we've added the Barrel House. There's a huge resort uh, still being built, but already open and operational, uh, which has a restaurant called Breeze, which is amazing. We have the Boardwalk, which is just down the street from our hotel. Best place in town for uh, our Chinese food lovers is uh, the Cool Corner, which is absolute legend. So yeah, it's there, we've added some reasons to come to Stacia. Uh, we like our food and you're gonna like our food as well. Hello, chef. Welcome to the old gin house. We have a table ready for you. Stacia trip and today I've got another adventure planned. It's now 8 a.m. I just got a knock on the door and it was the lady of the house here at Papaya Inn and she brought me breakfast in bed. So first breakfast and then it's off to another adventure. <music> How many times a week do you do this hike? <laughs> Three. Three times a week? Three times. And you run it? Run it. This is like, I don't know, walking the coast road. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all my fault because I'm out of shape. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mazinga is the highest point on Stacia. And which is which one? And that's over there. Oh, okay. So we're finally now going down. This is my favorite part. No, it has actually been quite an adventure. It has been a really eye, an eye opener as well. This was beautiful. Inside the volcano is gorgeous. Unfortunately, with my bad knees, we couldn't go all the way in. And also, it was quite treacherous at one point um, because, of course, whenever there's a storm or anything, it gets quite bad and the trail gets washed out. So we went, would you say we got halfway? Yeah, kind of. Kind of halfway down the quill or down the crater. And then we went back up. And now we're going down the same way we came up. And what awaits us, boys? Lunch, hopefully. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like complete downpour on our way down. Casper ah! is not happy. <laughs> He's actually getting cold. I'm quite enjoying it. Because now I'm, I'm like, enjoying it too. <laughs> we're having fun. <laughs> now this is actually cooling me down, so this is good. 
Uh, yeah, Stacia is blessing us because I made I made it to the quilt. That's probably what's happening right now. In the restaurant part, there they are. They're already waiting. Let me see. Wait. So, what did you order? I ordered satay with peanut butter sauce Ooh, and yummy. French fries. What about you? And I ordered Kimberly pescado frito. Ooh, nice. <laughs> This size, this is incredible. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this. There's no way I can finish this, by the way. No this is... <laughs> You're gonna have to help me because there's no way. This is a big plate. <laughs> this is crazy big.
so, my four-day trip to St. Eustatius came to an end. Getting into the St. Martin bound winter flight was a little difficult. I felt like four days just wasn't enough. But like my mom always says, leave the party early so you have only beautiful moments to remember it by. And as I landed back on my beloved home island of St. Martin, I vowed that I will be back on Stacia soon. I loved my four days there. The history, the people, the hiking, the incredible food and amazing friends I made. Whoever said that Stacia is boring obviously hasn't experienced Stacia the way I did. Do yourself a favor, visit St. Eustatius. Take it from me, it's a hidden gem in the Caribbean. Now thanks for watching. My name is Rizal, the Traveling Island Girl. Thank you.